Right, uh, we're at the workbench again, and uh, we're experimenting. Um, this is my uh, boxler, or my my version of um, Andrew Newton's boxler plane. Um, I've called mine Columbo. It's because uh, Westinghouse Columbo stoves come out of the the box that I've made this out of. <laughs> we still haven't got it into the year yet. I've got my um, ESC, but I don't have a receiver yet. I'm expecting that any day. So we'll fly that, and you should see a video. Anyway, however, um, I put a bit of red tape on this side and the other side, but um, I've reinforced the front part of this aircraft with um, fiberglass tape. And the fiberglass tape I'm using has got the uh, fibre strands running longitudinally down the tape. And uh, what I did is I wrapped it around here, around the midsection, around the tail section, and then uh, wrapped tape longitudinally around this way, um, and along the bottom, and tried to tie it all together as neatly and as um, strongly as I could. And then the, and then the red and the yellow is just on top, just to give me a, a, a visual colour reference for when I fly. And um, it actually improved the the stiffness of the, of the thing quite remarkably. Anyway, uh, that's not the experiment I was undertaking. Let's put that to one side. Um, I was watching some YouTube videos and um, um, uh, saw some some guys um, using three quarter ounce um, fiberglass cloth and fiberglassing models. And then I came across a guy who was actually using uh, polypropylene, so that's a, a, a material, um, and was using urethane. Now I've got a tin of urethane here. Um, I've been putting urethane on my my wings when I glue the brown paper on. Um, I, I put a coat of urethane on the outside, which um, uh, toughens it up and waterproofs it. Um, anyway, I walked into the local fabric shop, and this stuff, um, they call it taffeta lining, and it's a polypropylene, um, it's uh, almost transparent, you can actually, I'm not sure if you can see my hand through there, um, it's, um, I'll put it up close, you'll be able to see my hand, surely, um, it's incredibly light. Um, so, anyway, last night I cut myself a section of it and stretched it over there. I've made it. I made another another box of fuselage. Um, this is solely because I'll probably snot that one into the ground. Um, so it's always good to have a spare. Um, and. I use that uh, polypropylene taffeta lining material, there's a bit sticking out the end, um, and you could call it poor, poor man's fiberglass if you like, and stretch uh, over the lower part of the, the um, fuselage and use my urethane, and I'm quite impressed with how it turned out. Um, I don't know... Um, how significantly stronger it's got, but it's very definitely um, tougher. Um, it's less flexible than it was. Anyway, it's something that you guys can try. It's um, if, you, if you've already got urethane on hand, this taffeta stuff's dirt cheap. Um, I bought half a meter of it. It's 1.5 meter wide roll. I bought half a meter of it for two dollars or something, so it's incredibly cheap. Um, and have a go yourselves and see what you think. I might actually attempt to uh, cover a wing with this stuff, but um, we'll see how this fuselage flies anyway. And um, yeah, just something you guys might like to try. Spot you later.